Well, I was at the Environmental Protection Agency for a little over seven years during the Obama administration, and I was reading more and more about the problems with plastic. My name is Ryan McPherson. Uh, I oversee our sustainability efforts here at the university. Judith Enk is exactly the type of leader we need on this topic right now, and we are incredibly happy to have her here tonight. Unless there's a major change in the way we use plastics for packaging, by 2025, for every three pounds of fish in the ocean, there will be one pound of plastic. So we know that there is plastic in fish, in seabirds, in turtles, and in you and me, because we eat fish and we breathe the air. There are tiny plastic particles in the air. We're never going to get rid of all plastic, but we definitely can reduce the use of single-use plastic packaging, which has utilities sometimes just for 10 or 20 minutes and then lasts in the environment for hundreds of years. The whole single-use plastic ban is so important to me because if you reduce the consumption of it, you don't have the problem. Single-use plastics contribute to the five and a half million pounds of plastic that pollute Lake Erie every single year. So we've worked with the public to change their behavior and make the switch to reusables. But ultimately what we found is what the thing that's made the real difference is these policies, like the plastic bag ban that was just passed in New York State. This is a really exciting grassroots movement that's coming from the bottom up. And it's very much linked to climate change because plastics are made from chemicals and fossil fuel. Climate change is a, is a really big issue, and college students want to do everything they can to tackle that. And I think college students, if they're given the resources, will make a change. I launched a new project called Beyond Plastics, which is based at a small liberal arts college in southern Vermont, where I have the privilege of teaching two classes on plastic pollution and then working with college students and community leaders and elected officials all over the country who want to put their heads together and figure out what can they do systemically to reduce plastic pollution in their communities. Judith is a really positive light. She's ready to tackle those solutions. And I think just having someone who, who has the experience but has the energy that a student has for this issue is a really interesting relationship and I, I'm really excited to see that.